Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and we are continuing where we left off. So, let's go ahead and make a frame uh, shot for this. Let's press R, Z, and we're obviously not going to be able to get this whole shot in the frame. So, let's just get the most amount of um, cubes that we can in this one shot while making it look interesting. And also, uh, empties don't render, just so you know. So you have to worry about hiding the empties or anything like that. So that's good enough, I think. So next, let's see. Now we'll just zoom it in. Then, just we'll just zoom it in a little bit, actually. So so that we can get, uh, so it can all group together. So next, okay. This should, would look best from the side. So R Z. And when I say R Z, that's what I'm pressing. I'm pressing R, and then I'm pressing Z. In case you don't know. Okay. Okay, and we'll keep going. Press R Z. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hold on. Now if you need to get uh, more exact measurements you can uh, always come out here and just move it like this. Yeah let's just, right here we're just gonna get a view that we like. <coughs> um, yeah that's, that looks okay. So let's just press that, control alt 0 on the numpad and there we have it. Okay, next. And now we can use trackball to get a uh, free, uh, a free camera, so we don't we're not constrained or constricted by any axis. So, uh, okay, that seems like a really unnecessary shot. But you need some smoothed out shots too. So I'm not going to say anything about it. Let's actually just zoom in really close here. So we can see some lingering cubes and things like that. Right about there. Okay. Because we don't need to get all the cubes on every shot. Okay, now we can have another one of those. We're going to up shots again. So let's just go right about there. This is what we'll see. Let's zoom a little more. Okay. Wow, we're already on frame 80. So now, let's actually do it by 50 frames here. Or actually, no. We'll do that later. So let's go here and zoom in. RXX, make it like that. Okay, so we are zooming actually some more like there. We are officially done with the extremes, so now we can just refine the animation. So we're going to go frame by frame here. So I'm just holding the right arrow key here. So if I ever see a cube out of uh, the frame here, and this, this is what's being rendered. Anything outside of this dotted line will not be rendered. So whenever I see something, we're just going to fix the camera so we can see it. Okay, see right there? You don't see everything. There we go. Press R twice to get, uh, actually no, let's press RZ to get like that. And then more like that. Actually, there's nothing wrong with that little bit of cutoff there. Okay, so let's keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Okay, so this is where it's gonna get tricky. Let's just go ahead and make one more extreme. Let's make that one extreme. And then it should fix itself, actually. Okay. Now, that we have that, we can go ahead and check it out. And because we made that middle extreme, it adapted the animation, as you can see. So, now it goes like that. So we can go ahead and just uh, adjust animation to like that right there. See if that fixes it. No. So, uh, let's just zoom out like that, about just at the very edge that we... Okay, there we go. Uh, let me see what this is saying real quick. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're just fixing and fixing and fixing. So let's see if that fixed it. It did fix it. Cool. Just move that up some. Let's just go up here. Okay. Yeah, that fixed it except for this frame here, but we can just fix that really quick. If you want to know what frame I'm at, you can just see it here. Sorry for the improper grammar, it's what frame I'm on, sorry. Um, let's see, let's bring it up, right up, actually no. Let's control Z that until, let's just see the extreme here, and then go to right about there, and then zoom it out, and then that should fix it. Oops, sorry. Okay, fix everyone but that one and that we can just move it up here. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so this is going really smooth actually. Just want to make sure I don't exceed the time limit because it is really horrible when you make a really great tutorial and you have to redo it because the YouTube says you can't have more than time, 10 minutes worth of video. Let's go ahead and move this over. Okay, up some more frames. Okay, and we're not going for perfection here. I mean, it is still a tutorial. Okay, uh, I think we might have to stop here. Okay, so we'll just get one, a couple more done. So, move this over here. See if that fixed it. Yes, it did. And because we already did all the rotations and all that stuff earlier, uh, we all we have to worry about is position, positioning it so that uh, we can see everything. Okay. I'll just rotate a little bit there just so I can get the whole shot in. And right there seems to be a good place to put this. And one more right there. So we're on, let's go up to 300. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. And be sure to watch the next part of this uh, advanced array animation tutorial. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.